everyone, I'm Becca from the Department of Forestry and Natural Resources at Purdue University. Today we're going to learn what resources are needed to produce our food. Where does our food come from? This video involves a bit of math, so grab a pencil and some paper. Now, let's think about our food from a natural resource perspective. Natural resources are materials that are found in nature and can be used for economic gain. So if we use all of them, we can run out. Water and land are examples of natural resources. What natural resources do you think are needed to make a simple breakfast of eggs and buttered toast with a glass of milk and a glass of orange juice? First, let's think about the wheat bread. 193 gallons of water are needed to produce one pound of wheat bread. Two slices of bread weigh about 52 grams, or 0.1 pounds. How many gallons of water are needed to produce two slices of bread? Yeah, 19 gallons of water. That's equal to about four water dispensers. We use a lot of land to grow wheat. 47 million acres of U.S. land are used to grow wheat, not counting wheat used for pasta. That amount of land is slightly bigger than the state of Missouri. Now let's talk about the butter for your toast. 665 gallons of water are needed to produce one pound of butter. One tablespoon of butter equals 14.2 grams, or 0.03 pounds. How many gallons of water are needed to produce one tablespoon of butter? Yeah, 20 gallons of water. That's equal to one 20-gallon fish tank. Now let's talk about your glass of milk. 122 gallons of water are needed to produce one pound of milk. Two glasses of milk, if one glass is eight fluid ounces, weighs about one pound. How many gallons of water are needed to produce one glass of milk? Sixty-one gallons of water. That's about the same as a large bathtub. That's quite a bit of water. Wow. Milk, for drinking or for things like butter, cheese, yogurt, and ice cream, uses a lot of land. 33 million acres of U.S. land are used for dairy production. That's slightly bigger than the state of Alabama. Now let's talk about your orange juice. 13.8 gallons of water are needed to produce one orange. About four oranges makes eight fluid ounces of juice, or one glass. How many gallons of water are needed to produce one glass of orange juice? <music> Five gallons of water. That's equal to about one rain barrel. About 642,800 acres of U.S. land are used to grow oranges. That's slightly smaller than the state of Rhode Island. Now for your two eggs. 240 gallons of water are needed to produce two eggs. What do you think that is equal to? Great answers. 240 gallons of water could fill four large bathtubs. That's a crazy amount of water. About 1.8 million acres of U.S. land are used to farm eggs. That's slightly bigger than the state of Delaware. Our breakfast used a lot of water and land, but how about all the food in the U.S.? How much water and land does that cost us? Agriculture is the process of growing our food. Agriculture uses 126,240 million gallons of water per day. That's just in one day. What is that equal to? That's equal to 191,148 Olympic-sized swimming pools, or 126,240 water towers. Wow, that's literally tons of water. Agriculture uses a lot of land, too. If the U.S. is about 2.3 billion acres and 40% of the U.S. land is used for agriculture, how much land is used? Great answers. 
920 million acres of U.S. land is used for agriculture. That is equal to the size of Texas, California, Montana, New Mexico, Nevada, Colorado, Wyoming, Oregon, Washington, Florida, Idaho, Utah, and Indiana combined. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy playing the Farming for You game. See you next time.